As we talk about these wildfires, we are worried, of course, about wildfire smoke, which could blow any direction, really. It really can. Now, we are going to see some minor impacts, some uh, thin layers of smoke coming through, heading on into uh, the day tomorrow. Mm. But that's going to push on out of here and more. The thick layer is going to come in late into the week, along with our heat wave that we're expected uh, to bring us up into the mid 90s in a lot of spots. We already have excessive heat watches out because of that. But today, another comfortable day. Temperatures made their way into more of the mid 70s at 74. Our average high 79. That was below average. Our low this morning also below that normal mark. Now you can see the radar is showing up uh, some rain or at least trying to. I think that's a little uh, overdone. I think we're still going to be keeping things dry here as we go throughout the night. Our system is now heading its way farther to the east and things are quieting down. We should see some gradual clearing on into the night with high pressure work its way on in here. That will eventually bring in more sunshine as we go throughout the day for tomorrow. But talk about that warm up. We'll go from the 70s tomorrow into the mid to upper 80s on Tuesday to Wednesday and then by Thursday and Friday. That's when the big time heat comes in with highs reaching the mid to perhaps upper 90s. Now speaking of the air quality again tomorrow, even here for us closer to Puget Sound, we might notice some moderate uh, air quality, meaning that we're going to have some slight impacts from some of that smoke, but the majority of it still farther east across the state, but you can still see a few dots of green showing up that way as well. The system that came through this past weekend definitely helped to uh, push a lot of that smoke that was in the area on out of here, but 64 right now for our current temperature. Southwest winds around about six miles per hour. We're seeing a lot of temperatures in the lower 60s. Many of us will drop down eventually, though, into the 50s as we head into early tomorrow morning. Future radar showing the skies clearing out late into the night. We'll have a few clouds late or I mean early into tomorrow morning. We'll go into tomorrow afternoon, seeing the abundant sunshine all over, and then we'll go into tomorrow night, noticing a few clouds coming in late, and that probably will stick around for us heading into Tuesday, which will limit some of the heating because Tuesday is expected to stay still relatively comfortable before that heat really takes over for us. Heading on into more of your Wednesday and definitely by Thursday. Lows tonight dropping down into the 50s. Highs tomorrow expected in the upper 70s to lower 80s. And for your seven day forecast, well, here comes the heat, Steve, Thursday and Friday, about 95, 96 on those two days. At least by the weekend, anybody who has outdoor plans should start to cool back down for us. Falling back into the 80s, still pretty hot on Saturday, but Sunday, the better and the cooler day at 80 degrees.